Hello and welcome back to the Beginner Node.js course. I'm your instructor Mohammed, and in section 3 we will be discussing file operations in Node.js. In this section we are going to take a look at using the HTTP module to create a lightweight server without any frameworks needed. We're going to be looking at create, read, update, and delete operations with files. Finally we're going to discuss how Node uses asynchronous programming to interact with files in lightning fast manner. So in section 3.1 we'll be discussing primarily the HTTP module. In this video we're going to install and discuss the HTTP module. We're going to run our first HTTP server and we're going to discuss how it relates to the express server. Finally we'll discuss requests and responses in the browser. Let's install the HTTP module. I'm going to jump to my terminal. And I've already created a directory called 3.1 for the course. And I'll be pushing this to GitHub so that you can see this later. So the first thing I'm going to do, I've already created our app.js. I'm going to npm init to start up our package.json. And this just created our package.json. And the next thing that we want to do is save the HTTP module. So we're going to run npm install HTTP dash dash save. And the dash dash save saves it to our package.json. So later contributors to our project can see that it is a dependency for this project. Okay, let's jump to our sublime text editor. And we see that HTTP is included. So let's require HTTP. And you'll notice my color scheme for Sublime Text is a little bit different. I just changed that by jumping to on the top left, Preferences and Color Scheme. I changed it to this one. I think this is a little bit more clear. So we're going to create our first server. And you can see just how easy it is. Of course, there's going to be the request and the response, just like last time with the express server. So what this is doing is listening on port 3000. And just like that, in three lines of code, we have created our first server. Server with HTTP. Let's run this on our terminal to see if it works. I'm going to clear the terminal node app and we see it is listening because nothing happened this just means the server is open so again we don't need to use a heavyweight framework something like express to create a server later we're going to talk about the many uses of express and express is great for big projects but when we want to do simple tasks we can use the http module and it's quite lightweight so Express actually uses the HTTP module itself to create its own server. You can think of app.listen as a wrapper for server.listen. So you can imagine that the creators of Express took this function, sort of made it a little bit more user friendly by doing something like this. As we see, these are basically the same thing. So Express takes use of the HTTP module itself when we don't want to do such heavy tasks, when we don't want to create a full application and we're just running simple tasks, we can easily use the HTTP module instead of the Express server. So let's talk about what are requests and what are responses. So the client makes requests all the time. When interacting with a browser, we type in a URL, we're making a request for this URL. When we click on a link, we're requesting the data for that link. When we click a button that feeds us some data, we're requesting more data. So let's jump to Google and see something we can request. And now we've just made a request for bunnies. bunnies. We can see just how easy it is to make a request. 
And in the future, we're going to be discussing how we can actually respond using this server.